Okay, so next up we need to start sort of punching through uh, where these windows and doors are going to be. So for example, if I look at my reference image, I know there's one here, one here. So um, I can select those polygons on either side and I can just push bridge and it will cut that out and I'm going to create the windows themselves separately. Um, so what um, I did realize um, before I started this one is when we did the um, connect tool and we selected one of these edges on the interior and push ring what I didn't see is that it's 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 done it sort of by room if you like um, which luckily for me I didn't move this one up or down at all um, so I can just push connect for each of the rooms where I'm going to need that extra geometry and um, it will kind of fix that for me hope that makes some sense um, you know if you need to go back and sort of retweak that undo then you may need to but um, that should hopefully fix the problem anyway so if I select those to go around here I know that I've got that in place now so I can bridge that it's important to kind of know these tools of how to how to fix errors fixing errors is is um, a big part of 3d modeling so um, let's go around the whole thing, shall we? So if I Alt X, I can see where my windows are on my reference image. So I know there's one here. <clears throat> That's great. I know there's one there. That's likely a smaller one. Yeah, it's a slightly smaller one. So just go with that because <clears throat> that's a bathroom window. Around the back. Uh, I know there's one, there's one there, but that doesn't seem to line up that way. Let's have a look. Where's that window gone? Just me or has it disappeared? Let's hide that a second. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong place. Yeah, I'm definitely missing something. That's fine. We're just talking about fixing errors. Um, I see why. I see why. This uh, image, my reference image, is kind of inverted, which is fine because luckily I've only been doing <laughs> vertical so far. Um, some of you may have noticed that I'd done that, but it's easily fixable. So we need to unfreeze it and um, simply rotate it 180. Uh, I can't see it on that side, so I'm going to go to my material editor. Uh, which for some reason has frozen. So what I'll do instead is I'll just push mirror here. Uh, make sure that's lined up again. All right, I think we're back in business. Okay, now it's making some sense because <laughs> there's the window. Okay. And there's the doors look. Okay. Definitely lines up. Yep. Uh, we've got kind of half a window here that's going on into the next floor. So, um, or if you will happen if, if you bridge that. You'll, it will leave a polygon behind up there, which we have to select and just delete those. Okay, almost there. Window here. And there's a big window here. And our front door. Great. 
So that just about does it for that part. That's looking fine. Um, some things to consider in terms of like the interior. This wall here um, may or may not, <laughs> this is where if you were working with an architect you could ask, may or may not go from floor to ceiling because it's kind of a kitchen kitchen diner type thing. So there's a chance that this wall could be gone. And that's just like, you can, you can see over, this, over the um, side of that. I think that's most likely to be the case, isn't it? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete those. And I can then bridge these guys back together with our old bridge tool. And then, because you know, that's likely to be where the countertop is. And then they can see over into this kind of um, seating area. Yeah, that makes more sense. Anything else? Stairs go up there. Um, I suppose we could do the interior walls, uh, doors, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna need to bridge all this. This video is gonna be way longer than I'd hoped. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep it all in because it's important to see how you can fix these errors. That one. That one. That's a sliding door, so we'll get rid of that. There we go. Could ignore that bit for now. Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. <laughs> good enough. So yeah, you see the process. So if you can um, go ahead and just duplicate that onto this one here for this part. And then, um, in fact, no, no, ignore that. We'll do that in the next video because that's slightly more confusing because we need to place this on top of this one. All right, so yeah, we'll move on in the next one.